What if your smart glasses could do everything, transforming the most portable tablet when you need them, a huge TV to watch movies and play games, and a multiple monitor setup when feeling productive, or even a camera ready for you all the time, without the need of a phone or a PC with you, all standalone, with even full Android Play Store. These are the Emo Air 3 glasses, probably the most advanced pair of smart glasses with two, color stereo waveguide display arriving on the market soon. I had the opportunity to check them out early, so is this the future of smart glasses and what smart glasses should be? Well, let's discover it together in this video. Let's get into it. All right, let's start as always with a little unboxing to see together what we will get in the box. Here we can find a ring to control the glasses, flexible, so universal for every person with a button on it and the trackpad case for the glasses, of course, with hopefully the glasses inside. Let's put in a side a second though. A sunglasses shield that will clip on the front, USB type C cable for the glasses themselves, also a little magnetic proprietary charger and an additional touchpad controller if you prefer. That will work, you guessed it, like a trackpad mouse in the system with also shortcuts button for the cameras and recording. Plus it has a charging cable as well. Then we get a nice cleaning cloth and manual. But let's get back to the start of the show, the glasses, as these are very particular because even with this thin profile, they can hold two waveguide displays. These are a bit bigger than your usual glasses because they pack pretty much a smartphone in them, holding a Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 chipset, 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.3 and various IMUs and speakers, making it completely standalone, so you can bring them everywhere with you. They're made of plastic but feel very dense and we have the buttons to turn it on on the right rack and the volume rocker on the left. Camera in front is 16 megapixel ultra wide angle and on the side I even have a trackpad to control the software without the ring or the trackpad, if you forget them somewhere. But hey, let's get into them, because what are these? Well, these are all-in-one glasses. To be honest, a new category that we didn't see just yet. So don't hold me too much on the name. Glasses that are trying to put together the media use of the Burbath glasses that we cover multiple times on the channel to watch movies, play games, and even work with a giant monitor in front of you, and the utilitarian and social use of smart glasses like the Meta Reba glasses, the Rocket glass, or the even realities. Able to interact with AI, take pictures and videos, and share it with your friend, listen to music, and even respond to phone calls. All in one, powered and running on Android 14, with even the Google Play Store in it. So you can install any app you want or you use to play and use on your phone. All of these in a glasses form factor, a bit bigger and nerdier than usual, uh, but yeah, that I can distance can uh, pass like uh, the glasses test. Dude, you wear glasses now? Yeah, I do, I do. <laughs> But hey, how do they work? What makes them different and so at? Well, multiple things. To start, uh, a pair of micro OLED displays, one on each eye, working in stereo mode, tucked inside the slim frame, using an old favorite tech of mine that we saw for the first time on HoloLens. But this time in a much, much smaller form factor and higher resolution. The resolution here is the 1920 by 1080 pixels per eye, color, sharp and readable because of the around 36 degrees FOV at 600 nits of brightness. It's actually very easy to read tags and everything that the system throws at you. And to give an idea, it feels like a 150 inches TV at around three, four meter distance. The hologram, of course, will be a bit see-through, mostly with dark scenes, uh, but you can still crump the brightness if you need, or even use the sunglasses cover, this one over here, to give a deeper contrast. Right now, for instance, my display is on and I'm using it to read my script, but you can still see my eyes. Maybe you can kind of see it at an angle. But yeah, I might actually play game right now while talking to you and you might not even notice. By the way, we can use this screen for many different things. Imagine it in an easy way, like an Android tablet stuck to your face. Uh, you can install Moonlight and play PC games on it, even connecting directly controller to it. I'm, for example, playing Jump Space and The Outer World 2 
uh, lately, and it feels crazy to be able to play here. You can even install Game Pass or GeForce Now and stream it directly from the classes without even the need a PC at all, or even install Diablo Immortal on it and play it without even a third party server. So well, you get the point. You can install Netflix, Prime Video, or even watch your favorite YouTube channel on them. Hey, look, it's me. <laughs> Starting maps to use them for navigation, though I really don't recommend using it for driving, maybe just walking, okay? Or creating a floating screen environment to have multiple monitors in front of you and work connecting them to a mouse and a keyboard. At the end of the day, it's a full fat Android, as we said, so you can connect pretty much every device on it, even headphones to have a deeper sound, or even the Mudra band that I'm using lately to control them with your brain waves. Hey, let me show you directly, that is a bit better than explaining it. All right, I don't wanna go too long with the demo because everything is pretty easy and straightforward. Uh, I'm gonna have the reproduction over here, as you can see. There are two ways to actually interact with the glasses, actually three different ways. One is the little trackpad, as you can see, that creates a little mouse, or we can use the ring uh, that is used as an AI muse to actually move around and the trackpad uh, to select and the button to go back, as you can see, or you can even use uh, the capacitive area on the glasses themselves and click and double click to go back. Or you can use all three at the same time, uh, if you need to. <laughs> By the way, let's use the ring for simplicity right now. That uh, is kind of the easier way to navigate around, at least uh, when stationary. And uh, well, you can see that we are running pretty much full fat Android. We have all the different applications that we gonna and we can download. Actually, uh, download the teleprompter app and uh, the Apple Immortal to try it out. We have maps uh, with the full entire thing uh, that uh, you can do. Uh, we can download things to actually see the details of the system and the battery and the device itself. It's pretty much Android, so uh, nothing new over here. As we can see, you can even go on the Play Store and just like touching around, you can move around and do whatever you want. This is the dock uh, with the you know, all the your favorite apps that you're gonna have over here. Uh, you have the possibility to actually connect different devices, like I connected uh, my controller and mouse and keyboard, and also, of course, the ring and the touchpad. Uh, but for the ring and the touchpad, we actually have uh, this part over here directly. But yeah, all the different settings are pretty much what you would expect directly from Android. Clicking up, uh, you have the control center with also uh, the brightness that you can change and the screen recording that right now it's working directly. And clicking on camera, of course, you can take a picture, say cheese, here we go. Then you can go in the album and actually see all the different pictures and video uh, that I shot and uh, yeah, move around and enjoy it directly. So yeah, I mean, if you're familiar with Android, uh, you're gonna be completely familiar over here. Everything is very straightforward and uh, yeah, easy to use. By the way, additionally, you also have the voice assistant directly from them or the multi-screen monitor, uh, where it actually creates a 3D of environment, as you can see, where you can move your head around and um, applications will stay uh, directly in place over here. And then with the ring, you actually select uh, what you want to select as it's gonna open in a three windows environment, as you can see over here. Still a bit shaky, it needs a bit more work, uh, but yeah, this is a very early prototype, so uh, it's kind of understandable. Oh, and I was almost forgetting, talking about the camera, they have a, a central 16 megapixel ultra wide camera, perfect for POV videos. Uh, these are some shots that I took, so you can see and have ideas by yourself. But it, overall, it's kind of crazy that we already have something right now that they can put together the functionalities of pretty much every other smart glasses that we have on the market all in one. As these check pretty much all the boxes, they might not be the latest fashion, uh, but they don't protrude more uh, than a regular pair of glasses, making them feel more normal. They're gonna be, of course, a bit pricey, offering though many 
more functionalities, uh, but surprisingly in line with many other smart glasses. As the MSRP will be 1099, but you can get them for a big discount right now on Kickstarter. I leave the link down in the description below so you can check them for yourself. Hopefully uh, I will have some discount code for you in case it will be uh, down in the description below. By talking about some pros and cons for me, cons, the software needs some work like the stabilizing of the 3D OF. And even if it's a full Android and it's amazing, it will be nice to have more dedicated apps for the glasses. They are bigger than regular smart glasses, but they can pass for them. There's a little fuzzy view when looking through the lenses with the screens off where the screen is supposed to be, making them hard to wear like a and everyday use. Integrated audio also is a bit tiny. It's okay for calls and listen to podcasts, but not so great for music and movies. As pros, they have a full Android system, including the Play Store, and that's nuts. Infinite connectivity with every kind of accessories. The camera is pretty good and easy to use. Screens are a big plus. One of the better waveguide displays I've ever tried without much color shifting, miles ahead of what HoloLens was, and stereo, not like some other competitors. They come with multiple interaction options in the box to use them as you want. And by the way, these are default specs of the glasses if you're curious, not considering the form factor. I, what do you think about it? Do you think that the full operating system is actually the key for your smart glasses to succeed? Should they replace your smartphone or just be inside companions to it? I think that what Imo gives you uh, is the possibility to use them in a both way, and that's pretty cool. Hopefully we will get some apps soon and we'll see uh, things mature with them. But let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'm really curious, will you actually use these all day? Or see them more like a utility thing when you need it and uh, a bit more like a tablet, let's say. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, guys, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like it, this is like. Subscribe to the channel for more VR tech. If you love the channel, join the button on there. Little and further, also the Patreon. Thanks all the patrons who join the channel, of course. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.